Okay, here we go. Can I make this any bigger? That's my question. I'm sorry. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm actually fidgeting with something new. I um I ended up downloading this app on my phone so that I can see my viewfinder a little bit more close, making sure that I'm in focus, making sure that um, the shot looks good enough. And I think we are. Oops, I forgot to uh, <laughs> fix my lipstick. I um, actually have been wearing this really colorful look today too. Uh, I've been playing with the uh, Jeffree Star Oh my gosh, I almost said blood, blood sugar palette, his jawbreaker palette. And I filmed a tutorial a couple days ago. I'm actually in the process of editing it. It is not this one, but it's similar. Very colorful, same kind of colors. But that is not what today's video is about. Um, honestly, I just wanted to come on super, super quick and kind of get, kind of give you guys an update because as of late, like I've always, I've been getting these questions since February and I've been able to answer them as they come in. Um, but it's getting to the point as my audience is growing, I'm getting more and more of these questions and I don't want you guys getting the wrong idea. So I wanted to come on here and just make a super quick kind of update video or maybe just to answer the questions that you, a lot of you might have. So why are my comments disabled? I think that is like the number one question that I've been getting over the past couple of months and believe it or not guys, it's not my decision. It's not my decision. Back in February of 2019, um, YouTube has disabled millions of comments on a variety of channels. Only basically a handful of channels have been able to keep the comments that feature minors on their channel. Obviously my channel is heavily dedicated to my, I think my family vlogs are my most viewed and probably my most popular videos overall. Um, but we also focus a lot on beauty. So even though Ella is not on every single video of mine, um, because I feel like because I am a smaller channel, um, YouTube had decided to disable my comments. Literally, if I go into a video to edit it and I tr I turn on comments manually and I save it, I'll go to my video and it still says comments are disabled. I have no control over that. Um, I'm going to leave a bunch of like articles and some videos that I found down below as well so you know that I'm just not like BSing you guys. They did say that they were only doing it for like a couple of months so I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing or not but as frustrating as it is because you know I never really got comments to begin with I've, I had always been a very 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 small channel under a thousand subscribers for I mean I've been on YouTube for I want to say about 10 years now because I've had um, two other channels before this main channel that I kind of just forgot about I kind of moved on and now obviously this is my main platform but I have been making videos for over 10 years and up and up until I think, I don't even know when I officially blew up. I think maybe, I think it was last October. So not even a year ago, I had hit, I had just hit a thousand subscribers. I was like, maybe, maybe 1100 subscribers. And then all of a sudden my we're being followed, I think vlog 404 blew up. And to this day, it's still generating views because of recommendations. Like you guys keep getting recommendations for that vlog, which is amazing because it pushes you guys to watch my other content as well. So I've seen significant growth. In the YouTube community, 26,000 subscribers is still not like a lot, but to me, somebody who's had under a thousand for you know, nine years, um, it's still a big deal and I still look at the number and I'm still growing every day and I'm like, what's going on? Because I had never had that sort of traction and I had never done YouTube, even to this day, I never did YouTube for that kind of views. Like it's great because it's giving me an opportunity to work less and do what I actually love to do and be at home with my babies. Like I don't have to, um, plan for daycare because I'm able to be at home and then with another one on the way like it's so important to me to be there 
for my babies and I don't want to miss anything, you know? Um, so it's giving me that opportunity to stay at home with my babies, but I have never and still will never do this for any sort of fortune or fame. I am a very socially awkward and I am like terrified of social situations. Um, so even like the mere thought of potentially doing like meet and greets and stuff in the future, like I would love to do them if I ever get to that point, but it takes a lot out of me, <laughs> you know? So, so I never did this in the intention of becoming YouTube famous or anything. I was inspired by my favorite YouTubers when I was in middle school, actually. That's when I made my first video ever um, because it looked like a lot of fun and YouTube was not what it is now. So I don't wanna make this video too, too long because it is just a quick update video and I just wanna answer your questions about why my comments are disabled and that is why in all my videos now I encourage you to go over to my Instagram and my Facebook page and I know it's a pain in the butt and I don't expect everyone to do that but I do wanna give you that option that if you did have questions or video suggestions, you actually had a place to go and I do respond. The people who have been on there, um, talking to me and stuff, I message you back. So I'm trying to stay as active on there as well. I miss what you guys have to say. I, I you know, I, I even miss like the, the, what is it? Creative criticism or something like, I don't know how to like better my channel and stuff. Um, and it's very rare to I get comments like that anymore because YouTube was such an easy place. You just scroll and type whatever you wanted to type. Now it's kind of forcing you to go to a different platform. And I understand that for some people it's, it's just not worth your time. And that doesn't hurt my feelings. It's, it's true. Um, so that is why my comments are disabled simply because I have minors and again as frustrating as it is if you're a parent you might understand where I'm coming from where YouTube is taking precaution to protect my child from predatory comments that is the main reason uh, why they did this and if if somebody is protecting my child from predators, I'm not gonna be mad at it, <laughs> you know? Um, on top of me protecting my child, the platform that I work on uh, is also taking steps to do that. So I can't, I'm not angry. I just had to like get creative and go around it, you know? Um, and there's still gonna be, you know, comments maybe on Instagram and YouTube, uh, Instagram and Facebook. Like you can't really avoid or, what the heck? You can't really, uh, trash pickup. <laughs> you can't really avoid what people are gonna say. Um, but I do appreciate the steps that YouTube had taken. I don't have any updates, uh, if YouTube's ever going to lift that. You know, if I do become bigger, it's gonna be very, very difficult to monitor my comments unless I got people to specifically, uh, filter my comments and stuff. But, um, as of right now, this is where we are. And that's why, again, I always, um, encourage you guys to go to my other social media. So that is it. Not going to make this video <laughs> any longer. I'm actually about to film another video. So just consider this kind of a bonus one this week. I wasn't planning on getting this up, but I just wanted to make that very, very clear to you guys. I love you so much and I hope you understand and I will see you in my next one.